This video is intended for a general audience and is not specifically directed to children. This video is intended for all ages. Hey, how's it hang guys? It's Eric here, and today I'd like to share with you my top 10 facts about Dookie in Johnny Test. Up at number 10, we have that whenever Dookie is not wearing his human disguise and caught talking, a person around them will say something on the line of, did that dog just talk? Either Johnny, Susan, or Mary will respond with no. But in only one episode, that being rated J for Johnny, that chain was broken and he was described as a hallucination instead. They've had some close calls with some people, even including their own parents. And up at number 9, we have that Dookie is officially noted as 16 years old. How do I know this? Well, if you check out the official character description of Dookie, it reads that he is indeed 16 years old, obviously in dog years, but on the other hand, Dookie has had a birthday in the series, that episode being bath time for Johnny. So he was 15 beforehand and then turned 16 during the events of bath time for Johnny, or should I say before pa? No. And now for number 8, we have that Dookie kinda serves as the big brother to Johnny and the girls. For Johnny, he serves as a big brother figure and worries about his safety and protects Johnny by any cost, but who knows, maybe that's just his dog instincts. He also helps Johnny to make the right choices and decisions. As for the girls, he tries to stop them from harming their brother in any way, and he's very well known to ask Susan and Mary when they'll stop using Johnny as their personal lab rat. As well, he tries to show them right from wrong on occasions. The most most well shown evidence for this point can be found in the episode Johnny Double Coupons, where he acts like a big brother to all three siblings at once. And now for number 7, we have that Dookie has remarkable skills in the art and fighting form of Kung Fu. This can be seen in the episodes Johnny Itis, Here Johnny, Here Boy, and of course, Johnny Fu. The lore behind this is that Susan and Mary have programmed Dookie with the DNA of Kung Fu Masters. I'd guess this is for extra protection or something. I mean, Johnny has noted that Dookie is part guard dog, but still, I don't know, what do you guys think? And now for number 6, we have that many fans of the show have dubbed Dookie as the most sane character on the show. And yeah, I can't not agree with you there. His nature is remarkably different than every other character. He plays it slower, but in the show's sense, it still seems fast. Although he does have his times like when he gets excited over the current subject, like in King Johnny, where he gets very excited over the chess game, and other times like that. And there's also a point of insanity that really makes me confused. This one being in extra credit Johnny. Up until then, Doogie has always been very assertive towards Johnny on his schoolwork, and in this episode he is the total opposite. And then three days later he's back to his old behavior on the subject of school. So yeah, that's one point I don't really understand. And up at number 5, we have that Dookie has had one voice actor change. From seasons 1 to 4, Dookie was portrayed by the now retired voice actor Louis Chiro. As for seasons 5 to 6, Dookie was then portrayed by the voice actor Trevor Duvall. They both have done an outstanding job as Dookie, and also, here's some history for you. Chiro has quit the show after he has gotten lucky and fell in love with a woman from Brazil. The couple started a new life in Brazil, and in order for Chiro to obtain a Brazilian citizenship, he had to drop either his Canadian or American citizenship. So as a normal thinking human being, he'd drop the Canadian citizenship. I'd drop that one too. After that, for whatever reason, he was no longer eligible to work on the show, because at that point it was more Canadian than it was American. And off number 4, we have that out of all characters in the series, Dookie has evolved and changed the most. In season 1, he was more grumpy and more easily angered. Season 2, he still kinda had that trait. For example, Arr, I feel like an idiot. Oh, no problem. I'll just call Blackbeard and get some tips. And near around season 3, he became more cautious and timid. Season 4 is when he has become a stable mix of all of the traits he has obtained throughout his history, only he is more happy on the other hand. So still angered, cautious, happy, protective, and more. Oh, and this kept on for the rest of the series. And also, on a little side note, I thought this might be interesting. Dookie has evolved slash changed the most in the series, but in the pilot, he has visually changed the least. And now for number 3, we have that Dookie is anthropomorphic, which means that Dookie is a non-human species with human-like abilities, 
emotions, traits, and etc. Now the lore and theories behind this is that ever since Dookie was adopted by the tests, Susan and Mary hated his behavior, so they've genetically modified him to make him bearable to their standards and gave him human-like abilities and stuff. Even up to this day, it is still unclear about his origins and the process it took the girls to alter Dookie to make him the super talking dog we all know and love. Maybe the Lost web series or season 7 could shed a little light on that. See what I did there? Eh? Eh? And of number two, we have that the character model of Dookie has went through three animation conversions. First off, if you don't know what an animation conversion is, it's when the character's model changes throughout an overall series alter. So in season one, Dookie kinda maintained a regular look, but since that season was traditionally hand-drawn animated, the model has small tweaks in sequences, but at most it looks as it regularly does. In season two and three, there was one significant change, and you have to look very close in order to notice it. So if you look towards his nose, you'll see his nose goes a little over into his face. And in season 4 to 6, it took away that very aspect I mentioned in season 2 and 3. I guess it kinda turned back into a season 1 form. But anyways guys, now for number one, which is that the name Dookie was not the first choice of name Scott has chosen for Dookie. Scott's first name choice was actually Poochie, P-O-O-C-H-I-E. After the pilot, it was gradually changed to Dookie for reasons unknown. I'd have to guess that Scott wanted to go for a less common dog name, so yeah, that'd be my theory. But either way, if ever I get a chance to talk to Scott, I definitely want to ask him what gave him the idea of the name Dookie and why he changed the name. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video, and if you did make this far in this one, uh, thanks so much. I really, I really do appreciate it, and otherwise, if you did enjoy, uh, please why not leave a like to show me. It really does help a lot, uh, a whole lot more than you know. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more Johnny test videos such as top 10s, theories, news videos, uh, stuff like that, why not subscribe, and you will not regret it. Plus, if you're a Johnny Test fan, you obviously will not want to miss the upcoming Johnny Test 2020 and 2021 videos on this channel. And if you want to be first in videos, why not study that bell down below. And yeah, with all that being said, thanks so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And with all that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay fresh.